Good morning. We are in uh, kind of the Beacon Hill area, down the hill from there, a bit off MLK, Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. And this is a, technically it's a single family, but it's totally been built out like a duplex. Three beds up with one, three beds down with one bath. And no, I'm not seven feet tall. This is how much clearance. I'm about 5'11", 6 foot. So you come in, it's a little lower. Um, there's only one water heater that services both units. That's a down thing. There's no fridge. I don't know where it would go here. But even Rebecca was smart to point out, there's no plug-in if it would go here. Kind of low ceilings, uh, but you do have space for a full washer dryer. Got some serious sloping going on that direction. You can check out the short that Rebecca uh, did with her lip gloss. Uh, does have baseboard heating, does have mini split. It's not plugged in. Bars on the windows, that's never a good sign, but you are in South Seattle. So uh, rent at your own risk or own at your own risk. I can't say if neighborhoods are good or bad. Uh, three beds, one bath, new flooring. It's moving ready, uh, but we will show you the outside too. So this property was built in 1910. It is 625,000. It's tucked back here uh, among other properties. This is the neighboring site. I don't know what's going on here, but this is South Seattle. Uh, so it shouldn't come too shocking to most of you if you know anything about the city these days. Uh, looks like they're probably going to develop something, hopefully, eventually. My guess would be tall and skinny townhomes, would be my guess. But uh, you can see the view of the, the roof line from the property. And this is all the parking I think that the tenants use. So it could get kind of busy if both units are having a party and have lots of guests. Something to think about. I saw this for 625 that it was still in the market, but now I kind of understand why. So I will run the numbers just to help you out and kind of get a sense of what this would pencil. Thanks. Okay, I am going to do a quick analysis on this property that I just toured this morning with Rebecca. We it's technically a single family, but it's definitely been split up to more like a duplex, three beds up and three beds down, both with a bathroom. Uh, same size square footage is what they have it listed as 1170. Saying they both were rented for 2250. Upstairs is still there, 2250. The other tenant has vacated. So I was running comps, you know, for a three bed with only one bath in the area. It says up to like 2900. Uh, for that area, Rainier Valley, kind of uh, Columbia City-ish. So I obviously like to err on the conservative side, stick to the one that's paying twenty two fifty, maybe upstairs, or I'm sorry, the downstairs you can re-lease for twenty two fifty. Upstairs maybe you get them bumped to twenty four fifty, but it, it's listed for six hundred. I thought maybe you, I mean six twenty five you could probably get for six hundred with twenty five percent down. As of today in late February, we're talking mid sevens on rates pretty much. Uh, property taxes at 6100 insurance they say 700 i'm saying more like 1800 probably uh insurance is skyrocketing across the board and across the country uh it looks like everything's being built back i'd have to verify that but there's nothing listed so it's probably built back to the tenants or the separate meters again doesn't say too much in the listing it's an older property you're gonna have some couple hundred bucks in a month applying repairs and miscellaneous stuff this is uh one actually with cash flow not fantastic um show you on my my actual snapshot pdf that year one cash on cash from day one uh should be 400 bucks a month around two under three percent but you should be able to get that above a little bit more oh i factored in some vacancy though if you had to uh, lose a tenant for a month or while you're trying to release that unit up downstairs but uh i think you could probably expect to be four to five hundred dollars a month easily and again self-managing it but you know that's two two fifty door. That's not too bad, uh, considering what we typically like to target on a lot of multifamily. You know, anywhere from one hundred and fifty to two hundred is not bad, and two two fifty is getting better. And obviously, anything above that would be fantastic. Um, I didn't budget too much anything else here that was needed. It, the the downside on this property though is the location. Man, you, you come to this ed, end of a dead end street here, where this property is located. Uh, there was only some parking up above here. You got this junky lot that's full of crap on the side here. Hopefully that'll be cleaned up and developed. Uh, <clears throat> and then not nothing over here too much to do with. Maybe you could build out something a little bit more entertaining or useful for the tenants. But don't really love the property uh, location. But again, if you're looking for something that cash flows with 25% down, maybe an opportunity to get under list price, this could be the deal for you. So um there you have it. If you were interested and want to know how I run this a little bit more or want a copy of my snapshot PDF, 
uh, let me know in the comments and I'm happy to do that. All right, thanks for watching.